I've already gotten all the clips off of her to get her out of the package easier. And the package, I don't know why, but I love these little packages. Um, just a lot, a lot better than the bubble packets, you know, because they have the little zipper pack, and you can keep clothes in there or um, your miniatures or whatever. So I'm gonna keep those and do that. And then on the back of it too, it shows all of the Barbie fashionistas, which I think is really cool as well. So um, today we're gonna do 169 here, and she is the Dea sculpt. I think in the face there, I think it's the Dea sculpt. And maybe with some variation, but pretty much I think that's the day of sculpt. Um, and you'll see that face sculpt in so many different uh, Barbies. So it's not exactly, you know, it's, I like different things. I like them to be a little different and, you know, a little, you know, strange or whatever. And this one is not very different. She's uh, your classic Barbie looking face, I think. But that's okay. She was $4 and something on sale at Target. And I love Barbie and I can always switch out her hair color or whatever because even though the face sculpt is, you know, pretty regular, normal, what, you know, most people would expect with Barbie, um, you can change out the hair and I can do anything. I can put yarn in there, blue yarn or whatever and make her a little bit cooler. But she does come in red and pink, which is a little bit of a different mixture for, uh, to go together. I'm not sure red and pink actually go together, but those are good. Um, she has one pink barrette, one red barrette. And the way those work is they're just kind of a clip like this and you slip them on and then tie the, um, the ends together with some rubber band. And that's how that works. But you'll see that her actual hair is bound in the back with a rubber band right here. And that's how this hair is all smoothed down. It's not so much with the hair breadths, but that's okay. It gives it that look. And that's what you're looking for is the look of being, you know, smoothed down with the hair breadths. So she comes with a red and pink um, crop top and skirts. And um, it's like, I've heard it called checkered and I heard it called... Um, Oh, something else, uh, something else, I don't even know. But it's got uh, black ribbing around it. It's really cute. The skirt is really fitting and really cute. I like the clothes that the fashionistas are coming in. Um, I mean, I $5, I would just buy this for the clothes alone, you know? I mean, that is a great, great deal. But I really do love the crop top. I really do love the skirt. Of course, the bodies, I'm gonna complain because it has no, um, no articulation, which we know in these fashionistas, they don't. But I think that's why they're so inexpensive too, because, you know, um, kids can play with them as well and, and have their experience with Barbie for an inexpensive price. And, you know, they don't have all that articulation where children can't really, you know, um, they could break them really, really easily. So this doesn't have that. Um, but you can always use that head and put it on a made-to-move Barbie, which is what most of us do. We will get the made-to-move Barbies for just their bodies, really, and switch the heads out. So I will probably do that with her at some point. But anyway... Um, I love the outfit. The shoes are like a tennis shoe with an open back. I love this. Um, the flat feet, I mean, I like a little bit of a combination. You know, I don't like them to be just flat footed or just high heeled. That I think is why I like the um, made to move Barbies and the Barbie looks and stuff more than anything is because I can use either shoe with them, either flats or heels. So um, I love these though. Um, they don't need a lot of detail. So even though they're just white plastic, they could, you know, very easily be uh, realistic because if you have uh, white tennis shoes with the open back and you have white soles and uh, white shoelaces, that's exactly what it would look like. So I kind of, I like the realism of that even. Um, so yeah, all in all, I am 100% impressed uh, for what I got for $5, my goodness, you know. Um, and that was on sale at Target. Um, I believe it was target.com. So always search for your sales and pick them up while they're on sale. Um, that's the best way I think to go shopping for your fashion dolls. So anyways, that is my little review of uh, this little fashionista. 
So thank you all for watching. I am so excited that I have a new fashionista. I'll be getting more new dolls this week and maybe on into next week too. And Lord knows what I'm up to next month. So make sure if you're subscribed that you smash that little bell there and you never miss a video that I'm putting out because you never know what I'm gonna do. And if you like the video, thumbs up. Always love my comments. I always try to comment back to you guys. So you guys have a fantastic day. I love you. Thanks for watching. Bye.